So I have the Eagles trading up from 22 to 16. I have them giving up number 53, okay? Um, and so, so 22 and 53, and they get back 16 and 81. And according to the over-the-cap chart, that is a fair trade. Actually, the Seahawks win in the points by a very small number. Um, and so at 16, I, I would try to trade up for... For for JC Latham, I've been on record saying that I think Latham's going to be up is going is going to be off the board. I also think that Troy Feltano, even though he's not the guy that I would target from a predictive perspective, I think Feltano makes sense for the Eagles. I've talked about how they really value broad jump at offensive line. He had the best broad jump of all the uh, offensive linemen going in the first round. I spoke about how. He's he's a little old, too old for my liking. That hasn't been an issue with the Eagles with offensive linemen. They took Dillard in the first round. He was older. They took Lane Johnson in the first round. Sure. He was older. Um, like I said, Howie Roseman's history, he's only taken two offensive linemen under the age of uh, who, who 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 finished their year 22 or who finished their, their rookie year 22 or, or, or younger. That was Dennis Kelly, and that was Jordan Mailata. Okay? Um, so... This is this is not so the the athleticism uh, with the position jumps the the athleticism jumps off the charts there the playing style um, there's people who know offensive line a lot better than me uh, we had Brandon Thornton on he talked up Feltano we had Dane Brugler on he I think he's Brugler's ninth rated player um, you and 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 Fran know offensive line play better than me you guys were raving about Feltano that day so clearly. Like, you know, I, I, I think crowds matter in this, taking a, a lot of input. Fatano is a player that there's a lot of consensus on there. Um, and then the position flexibility is a plus. And the one thing I'll say, too, is like if the worst case scenario with this is that, or I shouldn't say the worst case scenario, if a scenario exists where he's really good at guard and they, and they keep him at guard, guard's a $20 million position now. Like your top guard, we've seen that. Actually, the top guard, the average salary, the top, the top five guards is more than the average salary, the top five corners, I believe, right? So this is quickly becoming a premium position, but he can move over to right tackle when, when, when Lane retires. But I think day one, he makes you better uh, on the offensive line at right guard. And then Tyler Steen profiles well as your swing tackle in, in that case. Um, so I have the Eagles trading up to 16 for Troy Feltano. Okay. Because I have J.C. Latham off the board. I would personally prefer okay. J.C. Latham. Do you want to go through your whole Yeah, thing? well, so my second round, I have him taking Max Melton. Um, your boy. I've talked about Max, Max Melton. I think Max Melton makes a lot of sense for the Eagles. Uh, then he, he doesn't have the, you know, you would like him to be over six foot. I would like to be over six foot. We can't all have what we want, okay? Uh, but he has 32 and, a, and, a, and, a, and, and he, his arms are over 32 inches. That's the threshold for playing outside. He's proven he's an, he's an inside-outside guy. He can play in press coverage. The 4 3 9, 40. I talk about the uh, broad jump, 98th percentile on broad jump, right? So ath- athletically, he is he, Do you think there. if the Eagles don't – if the Eagles go tackle in the first round and don't go corner, you think they will be committed to trying to take a corner in the second round, or you just think Melton is, is too good to pass up? I think Melton makes a lot of time. I mean, I think that would be their preference, but – also, we're up against the clock today, but I, I go, go a little long today. No, it's but okay. but but something I did want to talk to you about. We can talk about it on the show tomorrow. Uh, and then is that is Marshawn Lattimore a guy who the Eagles would then pivot to? Like, is is that their pivot if they don't get a corner? That's in the who first I had as the uh, my original uh, best case scenario when okay. I didn't shoot the shot for Sertan was yeah. for Lattimore, and, and I do think that's very yeah. possible. So that that could be where they pivot. They they could now be they like, just restructured his contract, which I think makes the trade more difficult. Yeah. Uh, I, I could be wrong about that, but yes, I think that would okay. be definitely possible. Um, so number 81, I have the Eagles going on with, the, with a wide receiver. And this is what I was saying. I've had four different guys in this spot. So did you move? Oh, because yeah. you, you gave up the second. Yeah, to, I gave I up the second. Yeah. I got it. So I, I, I got the third round pick. I had them going Jalen Polk at one point. Mm, I had them going. I had them going Jermaine Burton at one point. Mm, um, I do not think they're doing that. Yeah. I'm, so I'm going to stay away from Jermaine Burton because there's just too many reports about um, how volatile he is. Mm-hmm. But I would also say that if you have Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown, you should have a tolerance for bringing in someone who you know might need solid veterans around them if the talent is there. And I think the talent's there with Burton. Right now, and I'm going to have this up in like an hour, um, but this is one where I don't have the blurb on, is I have them going with uh, Malachi Corley. 
okay, uh, from from Western Kentucky and design touch type guy. Yeah, so that's 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 my issue. I think they're, I think they need someone who can be, who can take over that Devonte Parker spot as your top option. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this whole the whole operating thing for you is they need to get rid of Devonte no. Parker. That's your number one no, goal. Your this, top this backup weekend. on the outside, someone who could play the X, someone who could play the X. That's if, not if, Malachi Corley. I know, right. oh, so okay, that's what I'm okay. saying. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was having a hard time here. Okay. I was thinking Tez, so Tez Walker, someone I was mm. thinking. Um, there's not really that third rounder in that range here. It's so funny. It really they, jumps they there. Get rid of so Parker. Malachi Corley, I I could see them from the perspective of he's something different. Um, but when this comes out, it might have Polk in there. Um, it might have Brendan Rice in there. That's some, someone else I was considering. I thought that might be a little high, 81. Yeah, it feels to me. Yeah. But I, I have I, I have wide receiver there. Number one hundred three, I have Traven Wallace, linebacker, Kentucky. Okay. They value athletic traits. Number one sixty one, I have Jalex Hunt. Uh, oh that boy. might be that might be a little late for him. It's okay. Um, that's when I don't you know because uh, mm, smart guy played safety at Cornell. <laughs> yes, but and you're hearing he could sneak in the day too. I just wonder if teams are going to take um, a twenty three year old from Houston Christian who's who's had like eight sacks in the mm. third round, right? I, I think. Sometimes the buzz before the draft, and then they end up actually being drafted where teams had them. Um, but up a fourth or fifth round will be the Hunt area. Uh, Zach Zinter with uh, one of the fifth round you picks. Have Zach Zinter. Um, will Shipley, uh, mm. right there. Okay. And then running back from Clemson. Yeah, running back from Clemson. Great cross player, by the way. Well, that'll help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, real good pass catcher out of the backfield. Big for the um, blow of your wings. I, <laughs> I think uh, one thing I, I I said this during our running back show. I think age matters at running back for the Eagles. Um, when you're looking at, at at some of those guys on uh, in the fifth, so you six, took a 35 year old lacrosse player. No, he's he's 21. Mm-hmm. The fifth sixth round, there's a lot of like 24 year old running yeah, backs. Yeah, bad I, this year. Yeah, it's I don't think dire. the Eagles go with that. So uh, it it might be a little ambitious to go with uh, Shipley um, in the. Uh, in the fifth round, but fourth, fifth is the range. So I'm assigning him in the fifth. Uh, shout out to Tyler uh, Dunn and Bob McGinn. They did a great job of go along. I always read the scouting reports there. And one of the scouts said about Shipley is he grows on you. So I don't know if that's a compliment or not. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like how I, how I married Emily. Like she wasn't that interested in me at first. And then eventually like, all right, yeah, she got sold on me. So, um, all right. Interesting. Nah, I was joking there. I'm trying to be self-deprecating. <laughs> uh, and then number two ten. wore down. What? Wore her down. Wore, nah, number two ten, going with uh D tackle here and didn't know which way to go. I had a few different guys that I was looking at, but I'm going with someone who inspirational story. Um, going to have to learn the last name, uh, but from Alabama, Justin Ibiagbi. And uh, has he's someone who's fallen down a bit in the draft because he had a spinal issue. Uh, he had a tragic death in his family as well. Um, he persevered through a lot at Alabama, uh, but I think he's a good player, scheme versus, you know, he can play um, 3-4, but he can also play, you know, he, he can be your outside rusher. Um, I was thinking McKinley Jackson, as a potential backup nose as well, but I'm going with Justin Igbigogby. 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 to yep. uh, the Beast. All right. That was what do you think stuff. of that mock? It's interesting. It's <laughs> good. You think it's a good one? Do you think it's? I don't know. We're gonna. We're literally gonna find oh, out in okay. like 72 hours. Are you, are you gonna okay. tell me your mock? I am. Okay. All right. Now I want to keep in mind uh, what you said. Okay. I. I. You've got this track record. I got to catch up to you. Okay, I need to. I need to nail this first round. Pick. <laughs> this seems like it's on your mind. This is like this is bothering you. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the Eagles are doing some wheeling and dealing here. Oh goodness. Okay. Are you gonna get like three at first round pick, picks to mix to maximize at, your odds? Uh, <laughs> at pick number nine, <laughs> <laughs> the Chicago Bears. They need this. They need all this. <laughs> they need this stuff. They need somebody. They've got Keenan Allen. They've got DJ Moore, but they want more weapons for Caleb Williams. So they call Howie Roseman. They make a monster offer. They say, Howie, we're going to give you number nine overall and our 2025 first round pick for AJ Brown. Howie says, you know what? Let's do it. Too good of an offer. Howie takes Dallas Turner at number nine. 
Uh, at number 10, the, the Jets take J.J. McCarthy. At number 11, uh, Minnesota, they did not get Drake May. Okay. So they call up Howie Roseman. <laughs> they say, Howie. I know what you're doing here. <laughs> we want to. It hurts. Here's what we're willing to offer. You are so hell bent. Really You're so oh, hell bent. I'm getting his first round pick. Right. The Nolan Smith thing bothered you that could. much. That much. Okay. So Minnesota offers 11, 23, a 2025 first round pick, and a 2026 conditional second for What's the Jalen condition? Hurts. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Howie says, oh, my gosh, that's too much. To, that's too much. You know what? Value is value. He takes it. He takes Amarius Mims at 11. The Eagles trade up to 11 for Amarius Mims. At number 12, Denver also has not gotten their quarterback. Sean Payton is desperate. Says, Howie, I want Kenny Pickett and a 2025 second-round pick, and I'll give you 12. Howie says, let's do it. Rock and roll. He's got his corner. He trades up to 12 for Terry and Arnold. So the Eagles now have Dallas Turner, Amarius Mims, <laughs> And Terry and Arnold at 13. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, Howie's rolling. And he's thinking, okay, this is my chance to be the star of the show. The whole NFL world is going to be talking about <laughs> the night of Howie. And here it comes. At 13, he moves up to the Raiders spot. He trades them straight up Jordan Mailata. Mailata straight up for 13. He's got Amarius Mims. What does he need Jordan Mailata for? There's a chance he might get some more tackles. He takes Quinion Mitchell. At 13, the Eagles trading up to 13 for Quinton Mitchell. At 14, Saints win now mode. They got to replace Trevor Penning. They're trading number 14 to the Eagles for Lane Johnson. And the Eagles at 14 are taking Troy Fautani. <laughs> at 15, now Chris Ballard, this is a sharp guy. He knows, he knows opportunity when he sees it. He sees that this Eagles team has a chance to totally blow up. And he's thinking to himself, I got to get ahead of this. I Hey, Howie, come get 15. Just send me your first-round pick next year. We'll call it a deal. I'm, I'm betting against you, mm -hmm. Howie says. Oh, me versus you. Let's do it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Howie moves up to 15 for Brian Thomas okay. from LSU. At 16, <laughs> the uh, Seattle Seahawks. Mike McDonald comes into the building. He's like, I get what? the point. I he, get the he, point. He's listening. He's like, you know, John, I'm happy to be here. I do. I wish you had taken Jalen Carter last year instead of Devin, Devin Witherspoon. And John Snyder says, my guy, I got, I'll get Howie on the line. Let's make this happen. He sends 16 and a 2025 first to the Eagles for Jalen Carter. Howie takes a deal, and he just goes again and gets Byron Murphy the second at, at 16. Uh, 17, now, I mean, again, Howie is just on a heater right now. People are trying to pry the phone away from him. He's like, <laughs> just watch me work, okay? Uh, the Jags need a wide receiver for Trevor Lawrence. They're willing to send 17 and a 2025 first to the Eagles for Devontae Smith. Howie says, let's do it. He's moving up to 17 for Layatu Latu. At 18, uh, the Bengals... They're just willing to take the Jags' future first. Okay. Now he says, okay, I'll take Olu Fashinu there. He moves up four spots to 18 for Olu Fashinu. At 19, the Rams, you know, Sean McVay, they, all this talk about he wants to use his first first-round pick, F them picks. He's trading it for Jordan Davis, Dallas Goddard, and Pukunakua's best friend, Britton Covey. That gets the Eagles 19. They get Cooper DeGene. I'm a Britain Covey's the sweetener at 19. there. At 20, the Steelers are on the board, and the Steelers are not answering. Andy uh -huh. Weidel says it, no deal. They Ooh. stick, and they take Talese Fuaga. Oh. So the Eagles, <laughs> do, not, the the Eagles do not get <laughs> Talese Fuaga. He's doing all this, and they don't yeah. get Fuaga. If they get Fuaga, I'm screwed. <laughs> at 21, the Eagles move up. Actually, they just send the uh, Minnesota 2025 first that okay. they got uh, from the earlier deal. They move up to take Brock Bowers. Okay. At 22, they stick and pick. Oh, they stick and pick. Okay. <laughs> they stick and pick at 22. They get J.C. Latham. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, at 23, okay. this is the pick that they already got from Minnesota and moving up for yep. uh, in the, uh, the Jalen Hurts deal. At 23, they take Nate Wiggins. At 24, 
<laughs> they send uh, one of the future picks acquired to the Dallas Cowboys. They take Tyler Guyton. Okay. Uh, at 25, the Packers take Jackson Powers Johnson. At 26, the Eagles uh, move up. They send the Chicago first that they got, and they take Johnny Newton at 26. At 27, the Arizona Cardinals take Chop Robinson. This is one. It could be the Eagles. They're not taking Chop Robinson. Uh, at 28, the Eagles send uh, 50 and 53. They're two second-round picks to uh, actually forget who, what team this is. Uh, they get Xavier Worthy. And then it's the Lions, uh, fi- No, the Lions are 29. They okay. take Jordan Morgan. Okay. Uh, at 30, the Eagles, this is where, uh, with Baltimore, they trade a 2026 first and Nolan Smith straight up for 30. They take Kool-Aid McKinstry. So the final uh, tally here for the Eagles in the first round. The Eagles have drafted Dallas Turner, Amarius Mims, Terry and Arnold, Quinian Mitchell, Troy Fautanu, Brian Thomas, Byron Murphy II, Layatu Latu, Olu Fashanu, Cooper DeGene, Brock Bowers, J.C. Latham, Nate Wiggins, Johnny Newton, Xavier Worthy, Tyler Guyton, and Kool-Aid McKinstry. So if any of those players <laughs> is the Eagles' first-round pick, I have correctly <laughs> predicted it. I have gotten the round correct <laughs> and the team correct. I just want uh, to In say. order to do so, by the way, just, just for – you can tell me how you feel like yes. the roster plays out. They have lost – Jalen Hurts, A.J. Brown, Devontae yeah. Smith, Dallas Goddard, Jordan Mailata, Lane Johnson, Kenny Pickett, Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis, Nolan Smith, Britton Covey, 50, 53, and a bunch of future picks. <laughs> I respect the humor. That what a night from it. Howie. What a night from Howie. What a night for Bo in that case. <laughs> um, they took, I, I predicted one guy in the first round. One guy. They took that guy in the first round. One guy I, I predicted. You have what eight, uh, eleven guys? I'm sorry, I just went through the process. This okay. is <laughs> okay. All right. Well, um, we'll see. now I'm kind of rooting for them to trade out of the first round. Just, just, just. <laughs> no, I mean, if they get Fuaga or if they get Chop <laughs> yes, Robinson, yes, that'd be funny. That'd be funny. No, this is uh, well done. That was that was a good bit. That was a good. Uh, bit. What bit? <laughs> that was, that was... That's my prediction. That's my official prediction. <laughs> okay. All that matters is that I get okay. one of the guys right. <laughs> 